violence in Haiti. Gangs are said to control 80 percent of the nation's capital, Port-au-Prince. Homes burned, schools closed, Haitians displaced. But now, assistance from a foreign security force, Kenya, will lead a multinational effort of a thousand police officers to help restore peace. So far, Jamaica and the Bahamas have offered to assist Kenya. Mr. President, so good to see you. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken met with Kenyan President William Ruto Thursday at the United Nations, just a few hours before Ruto spoke before the U.N. General Assembly. The cry of our brothers and sisters who are the first people to win their struggle for freedom from colonial tyranny has reached our ears and touched our hearts. Also at the U.N., an advisory group to discuss the economic and social impact of the violence. This just two days after U.S. President Joe Biden addressed the U.N. General Assembly with these words. I call on the Security Council to authorize this mission now. The people of Haiti cannot wait much longer. But the idea of a U.N. multinational force worries some New York Haitians who remember the 2010 Napolese U.N. force that brought cholera to their country. The gang violence is resonating in Haiti, and Haitians created it, so we need to fix it ourselves. There's no safety, especially after the president got assassinated, so nobody really feels safe. Late Friday, Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry will address the United Nations General Assembly. At the same time, Haitians plan to protest his presence here, in the city block that leads to the United Nations. The United Nations Security Council is expected to vote next week on sending the multinational force from Kenya into Haiti. Carolyn Persuti, VOA News at the United Nations.